Welcome to the jungle. We're here in Siem Reap, Cambodia, again. And today, that one is behind us. We're gonna head over to this one. Ta Takio, Takio, Takao, Takio. I'm gonna say Takio. Um, and anyway, you can probably already see it in the distance there. But they have a lot of people working here uh, in this huge, I'm just gonna call it the Anchor Wat archeology, uh, archeolo oh boy. I can't get the word out. Archaeological, there you go, archaeological site, uh, which is massive, by the way. And if you're wondering, uh, you've probably seen online that TripAdvisor, Expedia, all these people are trying to sell you tickets to Anchor Watt. <coughs> don't, don't fall for that one, guys. Just get you a tuk-tuk driver. <coughs> Excuse me. Just get you a tuk-tuk driver. Tell him you want to go to Anchor Watt. He'll take you downtown to where the main building is. You buy a ticket right there. The best deal in town, get a ticket for three days, three days, and um, you can just uh, take your time because there's a lot to see and a lot to do. Anchor Wat is only one building. There's probably 25 ruins out here, maybe more, and Anchor Wat is just one of them. So you'll need three days and you still won't see it all. And uh, go down there, they're not gonna mark the ticket price up or anything, in fact, you get a discount. So if you buy three, you're basically getting one free. What was it, $67, $67 for three days per person? Leslie, that sounds yes. right. Yeah, that sounds right. 67 US dollars. Oh, a side note, when I say US dollars here, uh, that will make your life easy because Cambodia takes US dollar. That's exactly the same as the real. Our, our, that's R-I-E-L, is their Cambodian real. Anyway, I'm gonna stop, uh, stop yakking about that. And here comes the temple. Just trying to save you some money. Since we still have a couple minutes, I'll give you another pro tip. Day one, get a tuk-tuk driver from the airport. Day one, don't get a cab, don't get none of that stuff. Get a tuk-tuk driver. Make sure they have WhatsApp. Get you guys exchange WhatsApp information and use that same driver for the remainder of your trip. He will take you around inexpensively. And uh, I may have to show my ticket, so hang on. Yep. I show a ticket on this one. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. They punch your ticket when you very first come through ticket control way out at the beginning. Uh, so I got two punches on mine, means I'm on day two. And the gates are open. And I do like this set of temples over here because they have some of these plaques where Anchor Wat didn't have nothing because they were trying to sell you a tour guide. They didn't have anything to read. Uh, this one is just simply a uh, code of conduct. Uh, talking about hats, glasses, short, short shorts, stuff like that. Okay, away we go. We're trying to beat this tour guide that's coming up behind us. Huge. Long way up. Huh, got some real ones here. Do not touch the carvings. That's new. Because people have been touching carvings everywhere. Hang on, guys. My exposure has gone crazy. There we go. Going in, inside, outside, inside, outside. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Oh, awesome. Look at this. It's my favorite kind of temple. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, here we go. I think I counted about 30 or so. I might have lost track. Wow, that was not very high, but that gives you quite the vantage point from here. This is absolutely amazing. I know I use that word amazing a lot, don't I? But it is. Sorry. 
All right, we've come up to the first level. Looks like there may be one more level. Hope so. I want to get up as high as we can get. So uh, I've got quite a bit of stuff to see here. Is that a camel? I think that's a camel. That's the first camel we've seen in Cambodia. That is unusual. Is that really a camel? I think it is. We'll let these folks get ahead of us. Yes, sir. That is a camel. Wow. Not quite sure why we're praying to a camel, but hey, whatever. Not my religion. If someone knows why we're having altars and prayers for camels, let me know in the comments. What are they doing? Picking weeds? You mean to film the people picking weeds? I don't know. That's what they're doing. Oh, okay. That's interesting. <laughs> Not too interesting, no. I'm just letting these guys get out of my way. All right, guys, we are going to do that. Um, you can see the folks ahead of us. They are basically climbing up on all fours. So I'm going to have to put the camera away for this, but I'm going to go on up. May have to put this camera down for this. Very little room on the stairs for me and the camera, and I'm doing this with no hands on anything. Look at, look at this one. That's as big as it is. Okay, we're going to... Uh, yeah, we're going for it. Nowhere to put my foot, but we're gonna... Well, that's craziness, hold on. Okay, we're going over here. This one's a little wider. Okay, that's good, that's good. All right, here we go. Is it worth it? <laughs> Ah, doggy. Well, if he can do it, we can do it. I'm gonna take the elevator down. Good work. Yeah. Oh. Sixty years old is uh, kicking in now. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Be careful. I'm thinking about going down backwards myself. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're at the top. Everybody's trying, everybody's trying to figure out how to get down. Believe it or not, we are not at the top. So we're going to take a little breather. And then we're going to go on up. Testing. Then we're going to go on up to the top top. One thing's for sure, I didn't climb this far to not take those last steps. Well, let's take a shorter set of steps for a minute and see what we see. I'm a little nervous going down, I gotta tell you. Those girls are half my age and they're going down backwards and they're having trouble. So I will be completely disassembling this camera, tripod, microphones and everything else, packing everything up so I have full use of my hands because uh, you know, I don't wanna slip on those. There's nowhere to go, but uh, well, it would probably severely hurt me most likely probably kill me wow what a place what a place I am alone there's no one up here there's not even a monkey up here that I can see all right guys legs are burning a little bit we're gonna go ahead and do this one why oh actually there's a tour guide up there wow I just saw his shirt there is someone up top I can't overemphasize the fact that there are no steps. Look, and that part of my foot is hanging over. That's insanity. But these aren't actually steps, I don't think. These are just remnants from the, I mean, they just sort of turned them into steps, maybe. Or maybe this was part of the original stuff. Look at the size of these blocks, man. Look at all the holes. So they bored holes in them to move them somehow. All the blocks have holes in them. That's how they moved them. All right, he's playing a radio or something up there. So I'm going on up. Almost there. Cut more steps.
Where's the elevator? Where's the elevator down? Elevator? No. <laughs> he has no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> I love it when I try to make a joke and they just go, uh-huh. Yeah. They'll say, yeah, to pretty much anything. So here's what we got up here. Not surprised. Uh, okay, these were not uh, native to this area. They've been moved in, but it's still a very nice, peaceful area to, sh to come to after that hike. I'm a little nervous going down, I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay, I gotta take everything apart for this one. So I'll see you at the bottom, guys, one way or another. Well, here we go. <laughs> I did just manage to come down those. All right, YouTube, we have done it. And uh, of course I went up the next level. I was up the top of that middle one as well. Quite nerve wracking, but uh, we're down, I'm safe. Slippery shoes, wet rocks, no hand holds. What could possibly go wrong, right?